goes out of bounds. Good quick hands and then even quicker feet to tightrope the line. Turnover. Wow, take it right down the lane to the hole. Nice strong move, and that's two for Wyoming. And seven points for Jones now on the night. Good effort by Jones going right to the rack. Of course, the issue there is simply the fact that the defense, the perimeter defense, poor for BYU. So tied once again at 39. Placed it, clobbered him. That's a good call by the official. That was a block. Came out and just caught him off his guard. Two player control fouls. We're almost back to back here, Wyoming and BYU. There's Brown. Shot too long. Balderson will go up for the rebound. 39 39. Just what you'd expect. Two teams tied in second place in the Mountain West Conference at 2 and 1. Both teams coming off. Their first conference loss earlier this week. And how about Keena Young heating up here in the second half? He had the two from the line, and there's a nice two from the floor. Stay down. Back down to Brown. Brown spins. Can't get the kiss off the glass to go. Rebound to Keena Young. Here goes eight. Feed to place dead foul. Oh. Oh. And one. Now, of all the easy looks that he has had up to this point, he's now two for 10, and he has the circus shot that he puts in for two. Great assist by Ainge to see him. Hey, Lee, ring run right there. Boy, great push, Austin. Well, only fitting. You know, we got the football team in the house. We got a hard fought. They're throwing elbows. Everybody going down to the floor out there on the hardwood. Only fitting that of all the football players that we asked for, they send us big Cameron Jensen, the senior linebacker, the leader of that defense. Cameron, thanks for stopping by. Congratulations on one heck of a football season. Hey, thank you. Thank you. It was great to be back. It felt uh, great when they showed those highlights up on the Jumbotron. Man, it made me want to suit up, whether it was basketball, baseball, football. I wanted to strap on a BYU on now, uniform, on so it's great to be back. Cameron, a lot of people talk about, oh, if they'd have only just had those two games, blah, blah, blah. And I made the point that I thought that those two games really did ignite you as a team that you came together and realized how good you could be. Any regret with regards to those two losses, or, was that, or were they necessary for your season to be as good as it was? You know, I, I, every time you lose, it's bad. So, you know, I, I'd love to have those games back. Yeah, we learned a lot from it. The program grew, and I think you have to go through games like that to become a championship-like team. So, you know, I think we learned from it, but obviously, you know, losing close games like that, you never want to have that happen. Spencer's foot was on the line the last time down for Wyoming, so a two there. Well, Cameron, watching you guys out there on the floor, one thing that makes up a championship team that a lot of us don't get to see is the camaraderie and the way you guys gel. And it really seemed like a fun team to be a part of. I'm guessing that you're going to miss your buddies when you move on to the next level. Oh, yeah, there's no question. Just being out on the floor with them, seeing a lot of them. I haven't seen them in a while. I mean, that, that was our team. It's been the closest team I've ever been a part of. And to have a college team like that, even more so than any other team I've played on, they're a great group of guys. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be a fan watching them in the years to come. Everybody talks about, of course, BYU's potent offense. But really, what carried the team for the longest period of time was the defense. Was there ever any resentment on the defensive side of the ball for the fact that you didn't get much attention but played so very well? No, I think that's the... Uh, that's the uh, mentality of a defensive player. You know, that's why we play. We, you know, we don't get our names in the paper as much. And, uh, you know, that's the way we, we would have liked it. I mean, the off it seemed like we were hardly ever on the field the way the offense moved the ball. But, uh, that was but uh, you know, I thought our defense played exceptionally well, had a great year. I agree. We're talking football here with Cameron Jensen. Let's talk football from a basketball player, 40-yard dash time. Did you see this guy, Big Trent Playstead, really run that 4-6-40 that yeah. they talk about? You know, I have. I, I wish we could have recruited him. He'd be a sweet defensive end. I'd love to play behind him. Man, we need to get him some bats. He'd block a few kicks, wouldn't he? Yeah, there's no question about that. Now, you know darn well that Robert and I would have had him over there catching passes at tight end, giving you fits <laughs> like Harleen did in practice. You know, right? that's, you know I, I would have put my... Two cents and to get him on the defensive side. Hopefully, Coach Mendenhall could have could have helped me out on that. The collisions underneath then it was kind of like a goal line scrum right there. Are you surprised at how the officials are letting this game go? It's really physical. You know, it really is. You know, I like to see it that way. I love it when the when the refs just let them play and you know and just let two teams go out. Keeney Young fouled by Joseph Taylor. 
He argues and the fans cheer him on. Well, we thank you, Cameron Jensen. Congratulations on an outstanding career. Good luck at the next level. It'll be fun to watch you do your thing on Sundays, that's for sure. Hey, thank you. Well, fun to watch Big 44, just a sophomore. We'll be watching him for a few more years. Stick around. Quite a surprise at two and one. We'll have them later on this week. Uh, tomorrow night, actually, here on the mountain. And you, and you look down, Utah hosting Air Force right up the road tonight. And you mentioned it earlier. That, that's a scary one for yeah, Air Force, the 11th ranked team in the nation. Lee Kumar is a name that we have not called much at all. Now with five minutes, or excuse me, 25 minutes of game time played. He's only played 12 minutes. He's only taken one shot. He has been a non-factor in this game so far. Taylor, on the other hand, has to be a little bit frustrated. I, again, it was not intentional at all. It wasn't an idea that he was throwing the ball, trying to get angry, but he did hit him, and as a result, the official has to call it. So Joseph Taylor back on the bench where he spent most of that Air Force game in foul trouble. He now has four. Four points for Joseph Taylor. And Kenny Young's go. A one-point lead now, 46 to 45 for BYU. You have to say, though, if you're Wyoming and they had four free throws, only taken half of them, you got to like that. Came, came out of that relatively unscathed. Still down only by two. San Gondo, the poke that checks in for Taylor. San Gondo has two points on the night. A guy who doesn't get much action. Here's a foul underneath coming to Big Trent play step. You know, it, it, it seems to me, James, that now that one was a little bit touchy. It looked, and it seems to me that maybe after the technical foul now, they're going to call a little bit closer. They actually did call that on Jimmy Balderson. Balderson now with three fouls up. Playstead, no fouls. And Keena Young, no fouls as well to the two big men. I'm sorry, two on Playstead, none on Keena Young. There we go. Now we got it. Now Rose is in for Balderson. They don't want him to get that third foul yet. Ewing, I'm surprised, didn't, didn't take the ball to the hole. That's a bit of a mismatch with Rose guarding him. Baseline. The lay in is short for Jones. Boy, Brown fighting underneath, but the scrappy Kamar pulls it away. Brown got away with one. He smiled. He got him on the arm. He smiled and realized that he got away with one. These are two completely different bodies that you have in Brown and Kamar. There's a travel. Now he gets away. Watch this. He clobbers him, hits him right on the arm. Look. Oh, oh, no. yeah. That's like the body of Brutus and the body of yeah, Olive Oil exactly. right there. He did get away with a the big one there. 